Australia is a very large country with a varied landscape. It has rainforests, the outback desert, and the seaside. It also has a special warm area in the north. Here you can find art that is over 30,000 years old. It is the rock art of the Dreamtime painters. Aboriginal rock art is ancient. It was around long before there were roads and towns. It was in Australia long before people from other countries arrived. It comes from a time when Aboriginal rock artists painted the Dreamtime. Dreamtime is an Aboriginal story about the beginning of the world. It describes a time long ago when rocks, animals, plants, and people first came to the earth. It's a big part of Aboriginal history and culture. Aboriginal images of the Dreamtime can be seen in ancient rock paintings throughout Australia. There are large numbers of these paintings under the ground of Cockadoo National Park, a park which is owned by the Aboriginal people. Thompson Yalidjeru is a modern Aboriginal artist. He still paints in the traditional Aboriginal way. He talks about how he learned the old Aboriginal stories from his grandfather. However, the stories go back much further than Thompson's grandfather. Thompson explains, When I used to go and stay with my grandfather, I used to tell him, Please, tell me the stories from my ancestors. Ian Morris is a naturalist who has lived in Australia for most of his life. He has studied these Dreamtime paintings and feels they are very special. They are unlike any other paintings in the world. Morris explains, They say that the rock art here goes back almost as far as any known civilization. They're the oldest art records of human civilization in the world. Aboriginal people have lived in what is now Australia for at least 40,000 years. They may have even been here for as long as 100,000 years. This means that they are the oldest continuous human culture on Earth. The ancient art of the Aboriginal people is like a history book. It's also a guide to everyday life. Their paintings tell stories about birds that tell kangaroos when hunters are approaching. The paintings also show stories of war. In the past, Aboriginal people believed that these paintings had special powers. They believed that if they painted a lot of fish, they would catch a lot of fish. The seasons of the year were significant to the Aboriginal people as well. They only painted certain images at specific times of the year. In addition, certain groups of Aboriginal people only painted certain animals. If a group painted turtles, that's the only thing they painted. They didn't paint kangaroos as well. These ancient painters regarded their art as special. They thought it kept the earth strong and healthy. However, things have changed nowadays. Most Aboriginal painters no longer paint on rock. In fact, the last real rock artists died in the 1960s. Nowadays, Aboriginal artists paint on bark, paper and wood. That way, they can carry their art everywhere and sell it easily. Aboriginal art is getting more and more famous. People everywhere want to buy Aboriginal art and prices are sometimes very high. One piece of Aboriginal art can now cost a lot of money, perhaps tens of thousands of Australian dollars. Unfortunately, there's now a problem with the original rock paintings. Many of them are losing their colour due to time and bad weather. Insects and reptiles also walk over the paintings and make them lose their colour. There are all these agents of deterioration acting on the art, reports Morris. We can only slow that down, not stop it. Fortunately, there is a lot of rock art in Australia, and they're finding more all the time. Many Aboriginal people are trying to keep in contact with their history in modern times. The rock art of the Dreamtime painters may just help them do this. Hopefully, these ancient paintings will help modern-day Aboriginal people understand the thoughts and ideas of their ancestors. Hopefully, they will help save the memories of the great civilization who owned this land long ago, and who still own it today.